Hey guys, this is Banks Garcia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to share with you something that I've been so excited about these past few weeks. I'm just so glad that I'm finally doing it now. And the reason I wasn't able to share them with you right away is because... That's the reason. <laughs> anyway, who is a bag lover? And if you are too, then the luck's on you, girl. Because I have discovered these designer handbags. Yes, they're luxury handbags, yet very affordable. They are made out of leather. Yes, genuine leather, made in Italy. They are, in fact, comparable to LV bags. Gucci, Prada, Chanel, etc. Regarding your question about why these bags are affordable, I am going to explain that in a bit. But first, let me show you the bags. It's just right here. Woo. So it came in a box like this, just like any other signature bags would. It's a well-built box. Another surprise is that I am showing you two bags. Oh, by the way, they come in another bag like this. Very classy. So they're very well protected when delivered to you. So this is the first bag. Woohoo! Oh, diba? Told you I'm not lying. They're very chic and stylish. It comes with a strap, a longer strap, in case you want it to be a shoulder bag too. Ta-da! So this one is called... Eliza Croco, the light beige one, in case you're interested to get one like this. And I got the 9 inch one. I don't want the bag too big, so 9 inch lang yung kinuha ko. The other one! Ta da! <laughs> wow! Tiba? It comes with a strap in case you want it to be a shoulder bag. I quite like it with a strap, personally. Since I've got two kids, I need to be hands-free. This one is called Ava, or Ava, I don't know how it's pronounced. Funny because uh, that is actually my nickname back home. My parents used to call me, well, they still call me Ava at home whenever they talk to me. So that is, that's trivia about me. That is my childhood nickname. But none of my best friends actually called me that. They call me Val. So you open it like that, but you have to slide it upwards before you could open it. And then it has a zip inside. There, and another pocket. So you can put your cards inside. It feels luxurious. It smells luxurious. What more could you ask for? Dinga, talaga. What more could you ask for in a bag, diba? Daddy Blake has got all the bags that could suit your personality, I guess. As promised, I'm gonna tell you why they are affordable because you must be really dying to know why. They do look expensive. So why are they affordable? She's explaining it why. <laughs> Isabella would want to explain why. She wants to be a part of the video now because she wants to explain why. <laughs> hey, Isabella, say hi. Hi. You were getting bored, aren't you? Actually, this one, it has no pocket inside, but it comes with a small purse. So you can still use it for your cards. I find this bag more spacious, so I think I'm gonna be using more of this compared to the other one, since I sometimes put a bottle of, a bottle of milk inside my bag and then a pack of wipes and a nappy. <laughs> this is actually quite nostalgic for me because we used to have a leather shop back in Davao City in my hometown. I used to smell leather every single day of my life. I even get to have my own design shoes. It's more of the shoes that I get to design. Now that you've got an idea of how a Teddy Blake bag looks like, let me show you this. The reason why these bags are affordable. You could actually see this on their website in case you visit their website. It's uh, stated there as a fact. For the traditional luxury brands, they would normally use Italian leather for their materials. Roughly, it would cost them about $40 for using that material, for buying that material. Same as Teddy Blake, because they do 
use the same kind of leather. So they would pay the same. For the craftsmanship, let's say roughly again, spend about $110. Same as Teddy Blake. So what is the difference with their marketing? So when it comes to the traditional luxury brands marketing, it would cost them, let's say $200. So with Teddy Blake, they only spend half the price. With the branding, obviously, that's why they are expensive. Let's say roughly they spend about $650 for their branding. Teddy Blake, it's only $60. That's why you don't have to pay that much for buying bags from Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake is a proof that you could actually enjoy luxury without that luxurious cost. There's nothing better than knowing that these handbags are actually carefully handmade by Italian artisans with very keen attention to every detail. Para naman, alam mo sulit talaga yung minanggasos mo, di ba? Anyway, since I super duper love these bags, I am going to share with you some outfit ideas that could go well with these two bags. Check them out.
I hope you found at least one outfit idea that could perfectly suit you. And in case you want to check out more bags from Teddy Blake, you can visit their website. All their details are down there. And the details of all the brands of the outfits that I've just shown you, they're all down there. Please comment below which one is your favorite outfit. And if you did enjoy this lookbook, and if you want me to show you more lookbooks in the future, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Mia, how is the model?